If you want to go to where the action's at, where the fun times are had, where the fire is pulled, you've found the right place, ladies and gentlemen. I found one. Trench coat guy hooked me up. 2020 top series one baseball cards. I got a jumbo box. If you missed my first video, I opened up a hobby box and I got a little bit of fire. We got some golds, even though the golds look more like bronzes. A couple die cuts, a few rainbows, and out of a hobby box, got a parallel auto and a black parallel Acuna. Loving it. I love the design. I love everything about it. And we're going to rip this because why not? I got a bill hook. I got a box of cards. I got time. Wow, this one's a little trickier to open with the bill hook. There's no good spot to do it. Let's try this side. I haven't cut myself yet. Is not, oh, I'm not gonna do it now either. Okay, good. No blood on these cards. Thank goodness. We don't need to bloody up the cards. So I got pretty much all the rookies I wanted out of the first one. Oh, look at this, here we go. Except for Alvarez, we're on the Alvarez hunt. I didn't get the Ordon. So you get a box loader, turkey red box loader, that's cool and two silver packs in a jumbo. In the hobby boxes, you only get the one silver pack. And we got what, 10 packs? 10 packs, 10 fat jumbo packs. They're doing the million card rip right now. We're just hanging out in the lobby, chatting with all the fine people in the hobby. And I thought, hey, I better get this rolling so you guys can see what a real breaker is all about. Just kidding, I'm just having a good time. Okay, here's the no purchase necessary info. And here are the odds. I'm already working on the value sheet and the production run. If you guys are new around here, please hit the subscribe, ring the bell because you know, it, you're smart, you're a smart person. So all the smart people ring the bell. So you know when I go live, get a little notification when I go live. Hook me up with a like and a subscribe. Here we go. Okay, gotta get that Yordan. Oh yeah, strikerbreaks.com. Check it out, it's my website. I post the breaks there sometimes, and we have a great time. And if you're, if you're digging it, subscribe to my Patreon. I let all the patrons know when I'm doing a break first. Tanaka, I don't remember that one being in the first, in the first box. Looks like we've got A. Rainbow card, who's it gonna be? Someone awesome, please. Dwight Smith. That is not, what is it? Oh yeah, just a rainbow. Okay, it's Dwight Smith. Here, sit on the stand, Dwight. There you go. I like these inserts. I love Bo Bichette. He's my boy. The Decade Next 2020, something about it. I don't know what it is, I just like it. I like the look of that card. We got a Vladdy Daddy. And anything else, is that a SP? It is not. It is not. But that's all right. We'll put Bo up on the stand for now. So out of the jumbos, you are looking for, you're looking for one autograph, one guaranteed autograph, and two relics. And usually the relics out of the jumbos are better then there's a nice Pete. I did not get that one. So we'll start the good card pile. But yeah, usually the relics are, are of better quality out of the jumbo boxes. And people are eating these jumbos up, man. They've been going up in price like crazy. I've been spying them since the pre-orders were announced. And man, they just keep jumping up, up, up. And then you couldn't even get them for a while in all the major online retailers as far as Blowout, David Adams, etc. But now you can get them after they jumped the price up significantly. Oh, I just looked and I think there is a Dustin May, good rookie pile. I think they're like 150 for a jumbo and 75 for a hobby at this point. There's a bunch of good retail stuff too, so don't sleep on the retail. I'm gonna break it all down for you guys. Put all the numbers in a spreadsheet, figure out what format is the best buy for what you're looking for. And as I've 
noticed and people note the, there's a sweet one. I love that one, I already got that, but I like that card a lot. The prices keep going up for <laughs> the hobby stuff, but the retail prices stay the same. So I think what's probably gonna happen is people are gonna go raid all the retail and you won't be able to find much of it for a while. You know, they do the restocks, Tyler Glass now, Rainbow. They do the restocks, but who knows when that'll happen. And each different store has their own version. Target has a version, Walmart has a version, and Walgreens has a version. Which, the Walgreens stuff, this is some kind of an SP, I think. 84? It ends in 84. Is that an SP? Because usually they end in 69. Yeah, it might be. I'm going to put it in the questionable pile. But it's looking like the Walgreens stuff is where you want to be. Because you not only get the exclusive turkey red cards, but you get the Walgreens yellows. And those parallels are pretty desirable. Frankie. like that card. Let's see what else we got. There's the Yordan. Boom. Got him. Thank you, Jesus. Got the Yordan. Okay. I went that whole first box without getting him, so. Ugh. Get out of here, Kikuchi. Nobody invited you. What? We just got to, let's see. How do you get a baseball card the year after you threw a 546 with a 152 whip? How, how, how do you get a... How do you get a baseball card in, in the following season's release? Juan Soto, World Series. Tim Anderson led the league in average. Abreu, what, RBIs? Yep, RBIs. Anything else? Just, that one looked a little bit different, the color. Is it Ian Kinsler? Is he out of the league yet? Come on. Kinsler did not have a good year last year. No, sir. Negative war. He is worse than a replacement player. It's about time to hang up the, the spikes, Ian. Make way for some younger players. Your, your day has come and gone, my friend. We got a thicky. You know what that means. A relic. And something fancy in there. Look at that fanciness. Is that the relic? It is. Hopefully it's a numbered relic. That's what I was talking about. The relics being better in the jumbo than they are in hobby and retail. I can't get there fast enough. I, I just, here we go. Three, two, we got to flip it over. What do we got? Mondesi. Okay, was that? That wasn't it. That's just your standard issue rainbow card. But the relic is Francisco Lindor. Bat relic. Pretty nice. I'm just wondering how long he's going to be an Indian. Put him on a stand. And the Pete. That's a wicked card. I like that a lot. Top's choice, yeah. I like that one a lot. It's going in the good card pile. Dylan Cease seems to be lots of Dylan Cease cards. Is he gonna be the new Sean Reed Foley of this year? Lazardo, putting him aside. Based on recommendations. The new John Duplantier. Dylan Cease. I don't know. What do you guys think? Cole in a Houston jersey. I, I could have swore I saw him in a Yankees uni for something. That's cool. Brock Holt. And we got a trout. Fish swimming around. The beauty of the jumbo is the double silver pack. The guaranteed auto, the two relics, and you, know, you get a little turkey red action in there too. A bunch of little bonus cards. And it's kind of tough to compare value when you when you consider the silver packs and all the little extras. So 
I'm trying to make adjustments in the upcoming value video. You know, we have to, we have to account for those silver packs. Nice base soda. So I think what I do, what I'm going to do, and I've done in the past, is I subtract $10 off of the cost of the box to try to make all the numbers a little more legitimate. So if there's two silver packs for a jumbo, I take $20 off of the price because technically you could just flip these silver packs if you wanted for approximately $10 a piece. It's a nice Rivera. Pretty sweet card. Got a rainbow. Tie on. In the middle, is it? No. Oh, that's a gold. That's one thing. That's one problem I have. That is not a gold. That is not gold. Whoever says that's gold is trying to sell you the Brooklyn Bridge. Oh, that's kind of groovy. 60s Minnesota Twins. Decades best. Chris Bryant. And one of the funnest parts is going back through looking for SPs. In the past, I think it's been about one SP per box. Something along those lines. But the odds on all this stuff are a little tougher this year. So, we'll have to see. I didn't go through all the cards, all the cards from the first one. There's a judge base. To see if I missed a... SP, but I will. Don't you worry. And I'll share it. Gavin Lux. Second Gavin Lux. Dodgers team card. Another Yelich there. Looks like we got a rainbow coming. It is Ian Desmond. Okay, we got a total zone runs above average. Ichiro, the 2000s. Die cut. These die cut cards are pretty nice. In the hobby box, I got two of them. So we'll see what the jumbos yield. There's a few rough edged ones in the middle there, but overall, it appears that the quality control is pretty good on these. I haven't, I haven't looked really deep at them yet, but they look pretty good. I know some of the flagship stuff, you can get some, some pitting on the surface. Um, and I haven't noticed any yet. They appear to be pretty nice. This is what we got left. Boom, right there. Look at that. Look at that thicky. It's gonna be a good one. Oh, I can't wait. Can't wait to see what that is. That'd be sweet if it was an autographed relic. A nice thick auto relic. Gonna be graced with another rainbow. My boy, Wit. Got a die cut, a rod, and oh baby, that is a sweet relic. Jersey sleeve patch, wow. How is that not numbered? You have received a jumbo jersey sleeve patch. That is, how is that not numbered? That should be numbered, but look at that thing. That is one of the nicest patches I have. I, have. I can't stop looking at that. That is spectacular. How rare is that? Let's look it up. I have to. Couple good ones, 
Fergie Jenkins, and Otani. Yeah, that's a nice card. I love them. I love the cards. I cannot lie. Ronnie Braun. Hmm. I do like Ryan Braun a little bit. It's more that I like the Brewers. And he happens to play for the Brewers. Pete! Like he's waving to his juice guy, like, hey, uh, are we gonna meet up after the game? Okay. Don't bail on me. I'm getting old. Gotta keep up with these youngins. Bo, the Bo Show, baby. Yeah. Tatis! Love it. Bryce. Wicked card. Yamamoto. Vladdy. What a pack. What a pack. Look at this. The hits keep coming. Keep them coming. Enough of these team cards. And. Ah. Oh, I thought it was a trout. Paddock. Next decade. Awesome. Yelich, the man. That'd be so sweet if Yelich started off again this year, like kind of where he, where he left off last year before he got hurt on his way to another MVP. He's just, Milwaukee is the perfect place for him. Fits his game really well. Got a couple left. Three left, then the silver packs, then the box topper. I love the jumbos. But remember, don't sleep on the retail, guys. If you can find the retail in the wild, swoop it up. Because it's got the best dollar per card value. Bad. I don't like how they're all upside Half of them are upside down. And then you get the horizontal cards. You got to flip them all around. Another Bellinger. Awesome. Rainbow. Rainbow foil Bellinger. That auto is going to be coming up soon, guys. What is this? I, I, I'm missing, missing the gold because it doesn't look gold. Well, we have a Jeremy Jeffries bronze. And Rivera. Too bad that wasn't the auto. There's an Aquino. Austin Riley. Discount Trout. I wonder if that means change up. He's just really obvious about it. Double thumbs up means a change up's coming, guys. Two packs left. Where's that auto? Manny Machado, rainbow. So now I've got the gold Machado and the rainbow. Here we go. A couple of good ones in a row, guys. We got a black, and this is an auto. Who's the auto going to be? Who's it going to be? Nick Solak, number to 199. Black. Black auto. Followed up by the black Ty Cobb. The GOAT. Yeah, he's the greatest of all time. Is that something special? It's not numbered, but it is black. It's the top's choice. It's got to be. 
It's got to be something a little special. Loriano getting a lot of love. Getting a lot of love in 2020 Top Series 1. Another Pete. All right, one more pack. Let me really quick take care of this guy because with these black borders, it's gonna be really tough. For those of you looking for me to taste one of these cards, how about, how do you think Yaz tastes? First, let's give it a smell. Mm, man, they smell good. Reminds me of the 90s. Hmm, not too bad. Tastes pretty good. Definitely does not taste like poison. Doesn't taste like, well, I got a little tingle on the tongue now. A Little bit of poison. Just enough poison to make it tingle, but not to kill you. Tops does it right. Yep, it's, it's tingling, it's tingling my tongue. Dustin May rookie. I should sample each one of them, taste them, smell them, taste them, feel them, eyeball them, listen to them. I'm a good listener. Got rainbow and I wonder if that's a blue, like some kind of a blue parallel or if that's how that one looks. Because look. Oh, it is. Yeah, it certainly is. Look, the blue parallel. Unnumbered, but pretty schmancy. Yaddy. Yep, just enough poison in there to make your tongue tingle. Get out of here, Kikuchi. All right, that's that. Not so fast. Not so fast. Oh yeah, we're gonna get an auto out of here. I don't know, I don't know where. I don't know which one's got an auto. Oh yeah, there's no golden ticket, so that's a shame. I have a feeling I'm gonna pull one. Gavin Lux rookie, yeah! That's a nice one to get. And the Brendan McKay rookie. Keep them coming. Is this a rookie pack? It is a rookie pack. Nico. Come on, baby. Kino. Okay, that's a rookie pack, though. I like it. I like what I saw there. Let's keep it going. Let's get him. I want an auto or a parallel. I demand it. Any thickies? Oh, there's a thickie. Yes. See, that's all you have to do is demand greatness out of your packs and you will get it. Tuve. Devers, who is this? Come on, be a banger. Dropping it down. It's Goldie. We've got a blue Goldie. Number to 150, I imagine that it is. 18 of 150, Paul Goldschmidt. Legend. Awesome. Put him on a little stand there. And last but not least, the Turkey Red. Thanks for hanging out with me, guys. Give me a like and a thumbs up. Subscribe. Ring the bell if you're brilliant. Strikerbreaks.com. That name again is Strikerbreaks.com. And the Altuve. There he is. Jose Altuve. Look, at you can even see the little device right on the sleeve there. That's kind of funny that they put that in. Just kidding. Thanks for watching, guys. I will catch you all later.